so I don't... I don't know what to think about this. We clearly saw Snow White's head. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? I have the same... Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Um, kind not particularly, but kinda. I, I needed hope the information. It was worth your time. No, 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 no. We're not done talking. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. How are you not done? After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you. Or anyone. So I took care of it. Something seems odd. Either she's not Snow, or the head we found is not Snow. Snow? What is it? Our... Are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. Ah. And maybe that's maybe. why she was killed. No, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. Oh. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did mm. this. And why mm. she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? A sign, maybe? So, what's our next move? Uh. Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not, That's not quite what, what I, mean. I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not hmm. going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, oh, poor Bigsby. Oh. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm Aww. not helpless. I can take care of myself. Yeah. I'd... I've been doing it for centuries. Poor Bigsby. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. <sighs> He's pretty shaken up, though. So try I'm so not sorry, to be Bigsby. too... I'm so sorry, Bigsby. I don't... You know. She might not. Myself. Right. Sorry, she doesn't have feelings for you. Although it appeared to at one point. I'm sorry, Snow. My temper got the worst of me. I was just trying to get answers in search of you. Wah! Wah! TJ's hmm. over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Um... Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Buffkin, yeah. Okay, Toad and TJ. Hmm. Let's use a lamp. Har, 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 har. Ah. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Um... I need to go over this way, I think. Do I want to see the body? Or... Do I want to talk to Toad first? Hmm. Well, that's appropriate. <laughs> what about another card? The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me? Well, who knows? All right, that's the last one. What do we got? I hope you can find what you're looking the for. Hermit. I don't know what any of these cards mean. I should pay more attention to... No, you know what? I don't care. They mean something. Something 
regarding the big bad wolf and love and deception. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Hmm. Okay. Oh, get over here. What do we got here? Oh, perfume bottle. Oh, there we go. Snow's perfume. Okay. Hmm. Let's see the body first, I think. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. What do you got for us, Buffy? Oh, or you're flying evidence away. Come on. Can I see that evidence? Pretty please? Witching Well Chamber, the Woodland Building. Okay. Actually, this place looks really cool. Uh, we're following her. I'm a coming. Don't mind me, just walking slow. Can I? Oh, I can move. Let's speed myself up. Yeah, she was dressed up to look like you. Hmm. I want to say I think this is a fake one. I think that one on the table is a real one. I didn't realize. I've never seen her face before now. Oh, I didn't say anything. I, I thought I had more time. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Uh, all right, let's examine the head. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Hmm. Can you close her mouth? <laughs> sure. Thanks. Okay, we got a brooch. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? Hmm. No, nothing I've seen before. Hmm. Neck marks? Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? It could have been. Tell. Possibly. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Okay. Bite marks there? Track marks. Track she marks? used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're mm -hmm. trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? Mm. I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. Mm. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. Hmm. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. The coat buttons. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Okay, go for it. 
don't want us touching her apparently. Well. You still okay? Mm. I well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Yeah, I'm fine. Now that Piss off, Crane. Smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? Uh... She was using Monday drugs. Pretty heavily, too. Judging by the track marks on her legs. Track marks? Isn't there... There are diseases... I don't think she has to worry about that now. No. No, of course not. Hmm. I think this was the real going. one on the table. And the other one is, is a doppelganger. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. Well, not. you see, the reason I want to know is... <laughs> I look, perfume. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. Hmm. So, someone gave her instructions. I'm I'm gonna go with this is the real snow, and the other one that we have right here is a doppelganger. I've seen things like this before. For one thing, why he was it's asking if she magic. diseases. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Well, we spin the top of it. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh. <laughs> it's a little picture thing. Alright. Well, more. And let's go again. Alright. One more. Alright, no. Let's make a deer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. A deer. What does that mean? A deer. Mm. Oh. Hunter? A locket of her hair? Someone with red hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I hmm. don't talk much anymore. Maybe it's not the real one. Uh, that's, I'm so lost. Let me guess. It's my hair. Looks like it. Yeah. Hmm. God, it's hard to say anymore whether it's the real row or not the real real snow or not. Who did this, Bigby? I don't know. I can't tell you. She's a troll? Oh god. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? Hmm. That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She it kind of looks, looks like... like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Mm. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Okay. We have to go tell Holly. Right. 
Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, mm -hmm. certainly another troll. Do you want to say something, Crane? Do you want to talk to TJ first? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. We'll fill you in later. Good. Good. This crane guy knows something. Or he's gonna search the body for something. Some evidence that we didn't find. I don't trust that train oh, crane Ms. guy. Oh, Snow, I have a question. Excuse me a minute. Um, sure. Let's go talk to TJ. TJ and Frog. Oh, Toad. Hey guys, how's it going over here? Do you have some information that you could disclose upon us? Oh, the mirror, mirror. Oh, that's enough. Uh, mirror, vanish, cancel! What the hell are you doing? Finding Don't out even mirror? get started with me, Sheriff. Hey. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. Shut up, Dad. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. Uh -huh. I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. Exactly. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. I don't want to hear it from you, Toad. Off my balls. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? I won't eat you, don't worry. Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. I don't hurt little kids, okay? All right, scumbag. Okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. Okay. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me Kinda what Kind of sounds like Clementine a little bit. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. Definitely sounds I a lot that, like Clementine. I'm, I'm supposed have to, check. to go underwater and stay real still I'm gonna have to check quiet. if this is Clementine. It That's sounds right, a lot like, like her. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Aww. It's okay, son. Careful, Big B. Hey. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. Aw. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. Cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> This is a terrible thing for a kid to see. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Did is you see it someone? True? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. Don't worry, what is guy. It, TJ. I won't be I, mad. I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. What did okay, you say? Okay, you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Hey. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater. What did you see? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. 
Okay. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Hmm. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Sheriff. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. It's okay, After buddy. I came up again. There was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. I promise. It's okay, buddy. Don't worry. I want to go home. Okay. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, Thanks, buddy. Son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. I'm not a total asshole. It's just for scumbags who don't want to cooperate and who are just scumbags. Like Twiddle D. Or Dumb, or whoever that was. I think that it was D. went about as well as I expected. Everything okay? Damn it, Crane. <clears throat> we should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. I question why. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. Is up the snow. wants to come with me? I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. The real question is why the ogre, orc, ogre, chick, was looked like snow. Something is up with that. That is an important question. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Hi there. We're back. Come on, Ollie. I need entertainment. This'll do. I don't come I'm not coming to hurt anyone, don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Mm -hmm. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are Wolfie, you? Wolfie, my dear, what? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Alright, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? You sure know a lot oh, about that. Everyone knows. Tweedle D was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedle D said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which. I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Well, that might have been because Jack of last got your time. Nerve. We what happened? Bigby might have beat the shit out of him. I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, Stop look. It. Two fables are dead. Ah, uh, you Gren's talk too much, sister. guy. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word Jack one about it from anyone. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. What'd I do? It's an honest question. Ah! I need you out, Jack. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Great. <laughs> you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. Get out of here. 
All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Your sister. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I haven't heard anything about this guy. I'm sorry. You'd give one ounce of a shit about her. About any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She, she this guy's gonna get his shit beat by that, that chick. <laughs> All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. You okay there, Holly? She's probably gonna break something. All right, it might have been good that I brought Snow White with me. Snow White can chit chat with her. Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Well, piss, screw you, chick. Maybe if your sister wasn't masquerading as Snow White. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Good job, Snow. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Don't want any trouble with Grin. <laughs> we don't need to get into a fight again. We know what happened the first time. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now. Probably it was but drug I related. Just, I didn't want to watch it with her. Ah, uh, drug related. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. Mm hmm. Now she wasn't I off the drugs. Have to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Pudding and pie. Well, that's good evidence right the there. The owner, Georgie, information with all those fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Pudding pie. I try to remember that. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys. Designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. Hmm. I see, I see. We can probably learn more at the club. We've probably. got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> really? Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. Mm -hmm. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. What? Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation is important to everyone. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. Uh, I suppose. That club? I'll go down there now. Yeah, we'll what check it I out. I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, please try to make more of an effort with her. 
Just do it for me. I'm a cop. It makes everything easier. I gotta do my job. I can't just willy-nilly give bodies out to people just because they asked for it. It's evidence. Uh, 